All right, I got a question for you to start with today. Should swimming be fun or should it be hard work? <laughs> it may be that it's been hard work, but our very best learning happens when we have fun. Look at kids, they are having fun all the time. They just like keep screwing around and playing around and they are learning all this stuff about their world and about how their body works. So when you wanna know about your world, let's just say the world of the water, you really wanna include fun. <laughs> so today I'm gonna to talk a little bit about some fun and particularly around fun that you'd wanna have before going to the deep water. And the kinds of fun that you want to have before going to deep water is are fun things that help your brain and your body and your system really understand that it's hard to get to the bottom. So now one really simple game is to get something off of the bottom of the pool. What you might discover for most of you, for most people, there are a few who are an exception to this, but for most people, if you put a toy down on the bottom, or you can even just put, <laughs> I like to play the loose change game, although we don't carry around so much cash anymore, so you might not have loose change in your pocket, but that used to be an easy one. It's just loose change from your pocket, but anything that could go down, your keys, <laughs> You know, if you want to think in a practical sense, oh, what if my keys were in my pocket? Could I get it off the bottom? But make it something it's okay to go in the water. But just drop something down and then mess around with, how do I get it off the bottom? Now, if you're in two and a half, maybe three feet, you might be able to just reach for it and reach down and get for it. This is good. This is a good place to start because once you can feel when you're doing that reach is you can't bend down and just pick it up. Like I would bend down and pick something up from the floor. You'll notice there's a pushback. There's something pushing you from the bottom. This is a good thing to play with and discover with and have fun with before you go to deep water because it brings in this sense of, hmm, yeah, the water doesn't really want me to go down. <laughs> Another one you can play with is sitting on the bottom. See if you can get your bottom on the bottom. Park down there. Like you might be able to figure out how I can bop down there, but also see, could I like get down? <laughs> Sit down there. Could I meditate on the bottom? What happens if you try and go into a meditative Zen posture on the bottom? So all you people who think you can't float, whose feet are going down, whose hands are going down, play these games. They're really important. They're fun, they're interesting. It's actually quite nice when you fail at them in terms of if you can't get your bottom on the bottom. If you can get your bottom on the bottom, chill out for a moment and see, check it out. What is it like to be down here? Start to measure and understand, huh, I could be on the bottom. There's no emergency here. I will get a signal from within me when it's time to come up. When you're in the shallow end, of course you can stand up. When you're in the deep end, there's other things that you need to do. I'm not gonna go into them too much here. You can jump up off the bottom is one of them. <laughs> but practice and learn these other ways of bringing yourself to the top. But first, the first step before you're even doing those things is to come to calm sitting like a Zen Buddha on the bottom. These are great to play with kids. They're great to play with anybody of just to discover, huh, how does buoyancy work without trying to float so hard, trying to be perfect and trying to be right and wanting to get everything exactly as it should be. No, no, no. Just have fun. Isn't that what you're swimming to be after all? Something that brings you joy and happiness and support? It starts right now. Have fun and tell me what you try out. I'd love to hear about it.